Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares. Today I want to talk about the difference between WD drives. I know we talked about this a number of times before, but do bear with me, it's important, because some of you out there really still don't know the difference between all these different hard drives. And you get to the point where you want to populate your NAS device with all these lovely hard drives, and then you suddenly met with all of these different colors, and you think, what the hell are all of they? So what I want to talk about today, and I'll try and keep it as brief as possible, is what is the difference between all of these drives? So straight away, let's go with the top left there. Let's talk about WD Black. Now, WD Black was always seen as the kind of enterprise level hard drive. It's been around for a long time. WD Black is designed for phone video editors or those that want rugged, long term, warranty protected storage for a desktop system that matters. So, you can, of course, install your OS on this, and there are different culminating drives out there, but this is designed for reliable long term storage. You've got 7200 RPM speed, so a great speed, and a five year manufacturer's warranty. They're not really designed for raid environment, but you can raid them, maybe in pairs, but I wouldn't really go beyond that because they're not made to be raided together in big arrays. They are designed for good long-term storage and boot options. Once again, photo and video editors do bear in mind. Now, WD Green is a brand that's slowly but surely gone away. They were popular once in terms of systems where power consumption was meant to be very, very important indeed. They're low energy consuming drives that can be left on for long periods of time without consuming too much power and therefore getting hot, vibrating and effectively dying. But WD Green as a drive has been slowly swallowed up by some of the other drives, some of the features and abilities that it has. And now WD Green is more synonymous with their SSD range of drives. And we'll talk about that another day. But S WD Green, if you do see them, they were, before WD Red, the best drives to put in a NAS because they were designed to be left on for ages and ages and were much better in RAID environments than the WD Black. It's all about tools. Do bear that in mind today. This isn't just a big conning marketing thing by WD. You wouldn't use the same spoon for stirring your tea as you would for eating ice cream, as you would for stirring sauce in a pan. It's about having a tool that's best designed for the task in hand. And a perfect example of that is WD Purple. It's WD Purple's about two years old now as a brand. And WD Purple is designed for CCTV systems. Now, you might be thinking, who gives a crap? WD, you know, WD releasing a surveillance drive sounds like a giant con, but it's really not the case. Because if you've got one, two, 10, 20 cameras all recording all the time, you don't want a drive that's gonna be the same as WD Black or WD Green. Yes, it's gonna be on for long periods of time. So once again, it's got that going for it. And it's designed for drives, uh, for a RAID. So it's designed to be, you know, be used in a multiple drive configuration and be left on for long periods of time, just as you would expect from um, surveillance drives, recording all that data all 24 seven, and on top of that, being in large RAID arrays. But the thing is with WD Purple, they are designed for a heavier write than they are read. They are designed to be have data recorded to them as much as possible with the idea of accessing that data far less of a priority. So the write speeds are much higher than the read, which is really strange on a hard drive, but that's why it's so important. Because if you've got cameras recording 24 seven, you're not going to watch seven times 24 hours worth of footage, are you? No, when something happens, you want to be able to recall the data from uh, Monday the 13th or something at 9 a.m. and watch that little half an hour segment. You're going to be accessing or reading the data far less frequently, but you want all of those cameras recording non-stop. And that's why WD Purple is out there for surveillance users. It is the drive for surveillance, ergo heavy write, low read. Have you got the top? Sorry, my angle's all over the shop. WD Blue is your basic drive. It is basic storage. People can use it for large scale, um, large scale storage in their, um, uh, their desktop systems. And they can be used as external drive bays as well. They can be put in RAID, but they're not really ideal. Um, and if you're gonna use them on a host system, I would still boot from an SSD, even a small one, and then use this for all your general files. It's a great drive and WD Blue has been around for a hell of a long time and then available, I believe, in up to eight or maybe even 10 TB by now. It's a big drive that's out there for a lot of users, but there's a reason it's so low in cost. It's got a two year warranty, 5400 RPM. It's a basic drive, basically. And for you, do not rely on this as your important storage. Now, this one here in the middle, beep, beep, is the one that almost all of you have probably heard about. And it's the one that everyone from span.com to all the other NAS vendors out there are pushing you towards. WD Red is the NAS drive of choice. It's got a great balance of read and write. It's designed to be on 24 seven. It's designed to be in a RAID configuration and it's designed for NAS. So if you need a NAS hard drive, 
you know, to watch your movies, to, you know, host your VMs, to do all of those tasks, your Plex Media Server, your backups, this is the one for you, WD Red. It might cost a fraction more than the WD Blue there, and I'm having a lot of fun trying to point at stuff on the screen, but take my word for it, in the NAS, they are the best drive at the moment. Of course, Seagate have got their Iron Wolf drives, and the two have become so similar now, it's unbelievable. But if you're in love with WD and you want to drive for a NAS, that is the drive for you. It's got vibration sensors, temperature sensors. It is designed with the um, IntelliPower RPM that lives between 5400 and 7200 RPM. I know that seems like marketing jargon. Just consider it's 5400, to be honest. There's no point. It doesn't fluctuate. It just lives solidly between those two numbers. But in terms of a NAS storage drive, that is the one for you. It's got a good warranty, and it is very reliable indeed. And if you need something more professional and you need something for a much bigger system more than five or eight drives then do look at their pro series and pro is available in the wd blue and indeed in the wd purple series as well they're more professional class drives i believe they're known as nv in the surveillance drives as well and what they do is they've got a higher rpm at 7200 rpm they've got a five-year warranty much more rugged in design and they're designed for giant rack nas systems you enterprise users out there so do bear that in mind wd red pro and wd blue um what's it called wd blue pro of course um and lastly we can talk about wd gold now wd gold is the data center drive as it says on screen what that is these drives are designed for incredible read and write speeds. They are equivocal, I would say, to the WD Red Pro. Indeed, the price point is very similar indeed between them, and a number of users have difficulty choosing between WD Red and WD Gold for their high scale now system because the price point is the same, and WD Gold has got that 7200 RPM, it's got that five year warranty. But what's important about it is the cache is higher and it's even more ruggedly constructed. Once you see them, they just look like big chunks of metal with a tiny little board around the back. Whereas some of these other drives have got the bare circuit board, you can kind of see where the um, uh, magnetic disc lives. Um, WD Gold is made for data centers and they're available in both SAS and SATA. Um, what that means is these are designed to be in enormous rack cabinets. I've got 12, 24, 36, 48, hundreds of hard drives all working together in a RAID for rapid access and high IOPS. But that is really it for the WD drive um, hard drive uh, hard drive range. There are others out there, of course, the hybrid drives available in WD Blue up there. And um, what that is is a small portion of SSD built into the drive, and if you're using an intelligent enough system that can tell the difference between them, what you end up with is one drive that can boot your system on the F from the SSD and have your general storage on the hard drive, all built into one device. So it's definitely interesting. Of course, I do recommend you check out their range of SSDs and some of their older drives, like the Velociraptor, that's a bit of an arcane thing now, and that WD Black 2. Do check out the article to NAS Compares on the WD hard drive range below. And don't forget, if you need to look for your NAS, do visit span.com, the NAS experts. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, do click like if you enjoyed it, and do subscribe to find out more. Channels like this exist on your support, and I need it. Keep it going, so click like and subscribe. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.